Okay, so what you can see on the screen at the minute is our auto electrician theme. Now this has been downloaded straight from our theme club and once you install it, a few clicks, it looks something like this. Well, it looks exactly like this, actually. <laughs> so that's your auto electrician theme. Now, the process I'm going to show you today is identical for all of our themes. So as you can see inside the theme club here, it doesn't matter if you're an electrician, a plumber, gym, locksmith, accountant, different, all of these different industries here, no matter what industry you are trying to build a website in you simply install the theme these work for visual composer for divi and for elementor so all of the top um tem template builders what do we call them theme builders <clears throat> okay so i'll quickly show you so what you do first of all is you just come in and as you can see once we've installed the theme it automatically installs the plugin for you now what you should do before doing anything else is just make sure that everything's updated so update everything that you possibly can then you want to wave over magic page and click on the settings tab Inside the settings, top right hand side here, you're going to see something that says Magic Page Databases. I click on that. Okay, now when you look up here, top right hand side, you can see Austria, Australia, Canada, Switzerland, Cyprus, Germany, Denmark, Spain, France, Ireland, India, Italy, Netherlands, Norway, New Zealand, Sweden, the United Kingdom, the United States, and South Africa. You can build websites in all of those locations using your license. Every single license has access to all of those locations. Okay, so what I'm gonna to do today is I'm just gonna show you the United Kingdom one, because that's where I'm actually from. Okay, so we're inside the United Kingdom. So let's say we were going to do an auto electrician site with a radius of, of Manchester. Okay, so first thing I'd do is I'd probably go in and apply filters. Okay, so we're in the Northwest here, you have a few options. You can apply for filters based on population. In fact, just let me show you. You see we've got 4,071 locations in the Northwest. We apply the filters and we go for a population of say 20,000 or above. Click apply filters. And what you're gonna see is there's only 90 locations. Oh, sorry, 129 locations. Okay, now if we delete that and get rid of that and we just wanted the major cities, so all the big ones, Manchester, Liverpool, Leeds, and click apply filters. <clears throat> As you can see, there's only 19 major cities in the Northwest UK. Right, on this occasion, we want to cover Manchester. So what we're going to do is click on Greater Manchester and click Apply Filters. So what that's now done is that's given us 895 locations all within Greater Manchester. Okay, so let's just build a website for Greater Manchester. Now you can do this all over the world. So it doesn't matter where you go in or anywhere in America, Canada, Australia, you can do this. So let's install the 895 locations based on the filters that we've just applied. Okay, so you see this ticking up now. And it really is that fast. It's just installed the database for all 895 locations within Greater Manchester, UK. I'll click continue. Okay, step number two is go over to your magic page and click add new page. It's gonna verify, verify your license key. And once it knows that your license key is real, obviously it's been purchased then what it's going to do is take you through to the page, same as this. Right, now we have various short codes that we use on here. Okay, and I'll just show you what they are. So basically, wherever you use these on the page, if you use the word location, it's gonna show the location that the page is that you're currently on. If you use slug, it's gonna show the URL. Count is county, regions, region. Zip is the zip code or postcode, whichever one it is. Country is the country. And then there's a few other ones down here which are used inside of your schema, like your country ISO, which is a short name for your country. Then you've got your latitude and your longitude site title. So if you create a site title here, you can then use it as a short code anywhere throughout the page. Same with this site address, it's got your URL there, that's just gonna pull in your URL. Okay, there's gonna be full training on this, you don't need to see it all today, and I'm just gonna very quickly put a site together for you. So first thing what we want to do is, I'm just gonna title this page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the location short code. Now I did that the long way there. What you can actually do is just click the button next to it. That copies it. And paste it in there. Then what we want to do is set our central location. So as soon as you start typing in this top right hand corner. There you go. We've got two New Manchester and Manchester, both M postcode areas. Now we've got this set to a thousand mile radius. But let's say we only wanted to go within a three mile radius. We change that to three from a thousand mile radius and it's gonna come all the way down to 49 locations. So if a client only covers within a five mile radius of their business premises, you say no problem, 
There's a five mile website, got 121 pages. On this occasion, we'll cover the whole of Greater Manchester. So let's just put 20 in and that should probably give us the full 895. 894 it's given us, but that'll do. So we've got 894 pages there, okay? And I'm just going to publish that page. And like I said, on this occasion, I'm using Elementor, but you can use this with Elementor, Visual Composer and Divi, and all the themes are created in all three uh, of those builders. So you can choose whichever one you want, and the process is identical for any of them, other than the build process, which is based on which builder you're used to. Okay. Next steps, come down to Elementor, and I'm gonna click on the Settings tab. And what I'm doing here now is I'm actually activating Elementor on the Magic page and on every other page. So you can use the page builder wherever you want it. <clears throat> okay, Magic page. And now the page will have changed. So what it's gonna do is show a tab that says edit with Elementor. So we're gonna go into edit it with Elementor. Okay, so as you can see, we've got an outline of a theme at the minute, which is your additional page. Next step, we come click on that little tab there. I'll just show you that again, the folder. Click on the folder. Click on my templates. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install the template for MPP page, which is Magic Page plugin page. So let's click insert and click yes. And look at that. Now it looks exactly like the home page. Well, that's nothing amazing at the minute, but obviously just give me a few minutes to continue. Right, so the first thing we're probably gonna do here is we're gonna make some edits. So what I would want to do initially is let's click on edit here. Get the very best. In location. Okay, so that's get. Well, let's get rid of that. Oh, you do it over here on the left. Okie dokie, auto electrician in location. I'll show you how that works in a minute. Now, one of the key things that this, this software has that no other software provides is something called a city shortcode. Now, everybody wants a sitemap throughout their websites. Well, we've created something that we like to call the automatic sitemap, and I'll show you exactly how that works. So, for example, And as you can see, I'm doing a short code here in location or cities. Call now. Okay, so if you want, and let's put a capital letter on the front there just because it should be. I'm not gonna do the content for all of the page because you can see you just pop through and change it all. But what I'm doing now is gonna click update. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go up to the menu at the top and I'm going to view page. Okay, so as you can see now, we've got one that says auto electrician in Manchester. Okay, because that's a central location. See this here? If you need not electrician in Manchester, the central location, or Ancoats, Hume, University, St. George's, Brunswick, Oddsall, Strangeways, Ardwick, Moss Side, Cheetah Mill, call now. Basically, that's just pulling the 10 closest locations to the page that we're currently on. So let's move ourselves away from the center of Manchester to Cheetah Mill. And what you're gonna see is all of these are going to change, okay? Cheetah Mill, or Strange Race, Collierst, Higher Broughton, Lower Broughton, The Cliff, Miles Platin, Curlsall, Dale, Ancoats, Crumpsall, Manchester, call now. So as you can see, it's pulling the 10 closest locations to the page that we're currently on. And what it is, it's like a dynamic sitemap that runs through and adds the 10 closest places to the link that, to the page that you're currently on on every single page. So there's completely unique site, um, 
sitemap set of links or siloed linking structure on every single page of the site, no matter what. Okay, another quick thing I'm going to show you. So let's go back into edit magic page. I'm gonna click the button at the top to edit the page. I'm gonna scroll down and what you're gonna find down the bottom here is meta title, meta description and so on and so forth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, oh, I've got previous auto electrician location. I'll show you exactly how this works in a moment. I'm not gonna fill all of the meta description and meta keywords because obviously you don't wanna be an RE all day. The canonical link, that's actually canonical link which is good for SEO, so you should use that. Paste that in, or electrician location, that's gonna be your, um, your OG, and then you put your Twitter details in here. That's not the important part. The very, very important part here is over here. You see the expand JSON LD settings? Click on that and what you're gonna find is we have site title, okay? So let's call us Auto Electrician Location. This one here will pull in the site URL. What we're doing here, this is schema, but it's schema created to the point where it's so simple, you fill in a form and nothing else needs doing. So let me just show you what I mean. Let's see, we've got all these different one types of businesses you can choose from, but I think I spotted ours at the top, which would be Auto Repair, yep for auto electrician. So your site URL is gonna be in there. You can pop an address in there if you want, but we don't need to put the street name. You can also add spin text in here so you could have different like brown, green, blue, pink street and all the rest. I tend to leave that blank because it doesn't throw up any, any errors. Next thing we do is probably add a number. So let's say we're just gonna go with a load of nines. Telephone number, you'd add your email. You don't necessarily have to have it. You'd also have a price range. So 50 to 150 per hour. Okay, you can have a description in there if you want. I'm not gonna bother. Get your longitude and latitude, and then you can even set your businesses open in hours. So if you want to do it on one range, say you're open Monday to Friday, nine to five, and you to close Saturday, Sunday, that'd be your business hours. In here, you add social links, okay? Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to save that. So let's update. Okay, so let's go back and view the magic page now. So what you see in here is auto locksmith, um, auto electrician in Manchester. And if you scroll down, every single page has got these 10 closest locations, okay? So we click on auto. So what we've just built now, in a couple of minutes, is an 895 page website that took seconds to do. Okay, once you know what you're doing with this, you can have one of these up in five minutes. I don't know how much you could sell that to a client for, two grand, three grand, I don't know. You can do this with a 10,000 page website if you want. There is no limit. There's 181,000 locations in the US. So if you wanted to do a website that covered the whole of the US, simply click the button, set the radius, install the databases, and you're done. Okay, not only that, if I now click on the SEO Quake toolbar and click Diagnosis, what you'll see is what we've put in here is the canonical, the title, um, and a few other bits. But if we scroll down, the schema you've just watched us installing, if I click on the schema, now there will be one error because I didn't put an image in the page. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And what this is, this is Google's structured data repair tool. So you've got a site navigation element, but the one we're interested in is the auto repair there. So as you can see here, we have auto repair. Okay, the site ID is the site URL, and the site URL is the URL. If you look here, you've got your price range 50 to 150, auto electrician, odd sol, okay? Because it was on the odd sol page. And what it'll also do is it pulls in the geo coordinates, which is the longitude and latitude data for every single area on the website. So if we're looking at that one now for odd sol, let me go back over to the web page. Let me scroll down and let me click on one for, oh, lost the list. Here, let me see if we can spot Manchester on there. There's Manchester. So let's click on the Manchester one and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay, and as you can see, now we're on the Manchester page. So what I'm gonna do again is I'm gonna go over and show you the schema for the Manchester page. So let's click on Diagnosis, scroll down the page and select the structured data scheme. Okay, so we've got auto repair here. Now I'm gonna compare the two. Okay, so the structured data previously, as you can see, it says auto electrician Manchester, it's got Manchester Northwest M2. Let's go back over to the Autol one. The Autol one is postcode Autol Northwest M54, country, UK, opening hours are the same, but we can change them. And then you've got 53.47268 as the geo coordinates. Let's go back over to Manchester, 47894. So as you can see, it's pulling in unique location data for every single page throughout of the whole website. If we highlight this section here, right click and click go to, what you will see is it opens up a map in the area that we're on, Manchester. If we go over to the Ardsall one, 
what it's doing it's creating a has map in the area that we're currently on so it'll be an odd soil so what this is doing it's providing local data to a level which is unseen on any other type of software out there okay so you've got advanced schema that is better than 99.9% .9 of the people out there straight away without knowing anything about it. it pulls in a map for the location it pulls in the geolocation data it pulls in the longitude and latitude it's just advanced schema okay but as, as everybody knows who's involved in SEO schema is a huge ranking factor in 2019 and will be on beyond because that's what Google's after we just created an 895 page website in like a couple of minutes okay and it's almost SEO perfect now once you get good at this you could create these in under a minute imagine what that's going to do for your business or for your clients businesses moving forward thank you very much